My name is Charles Fox. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Paradise Energy Solutions. And I'm Warren Miller, the Director of Sales and Marketing at Paradise Energy Solutions. So Warren, today I demand an answer on this question. What is demand on a utility bill? So you can think of demand, it's almost analogous to bandwidth, network bandwidth. And what the utility companies do, Charles, is they look at your previous month and they look at a, the 15 minute increment where you had the highest usage and they want to make sure that they can get that amount of electricity, electricity to you at any given time. So they assess a fee based on that amount of demand. You're going to be demanding yeah. that amount of electricity at any given yeah. point and they assess a fee for that. So that's how it's calculated, Warren. So who is impacted by demand? Does everybody pay a demand fee? Not everybody pays demand. Usually homeowners or residences do not have demand fees. Usually we see demand charges in large commercial or industrial facilities that use a lot of electricity at a, uh, at a single moment in time. So is there any help or is there any way that a business or someone who's charged demand a farm, uh, ways that they can impact that uh, positively, you know, lower that demand fee. There are, there are several ways that they can do it. First way is that they can talk out and reach out to their utility. Many utility companies have programs where they offer load control programs or uh, we, where if you're a poultry farmer or somebody that may be able to use your generator or switch on and off your loads, have the utility take control of that and they eliminate demand charges. So talk to your utility specifically to find out what programs they offer to manage load control or demand charges. Another way to do it is to sequence your equipment. Look at uh, when your equipment turns on and turns off and have it sequenced so that they're not all turning on at the same time to lower that 15 minute increment of, uh, uh, of demand. And finally, another possibility is to go solar. If your usage is during the day when solar would be producing electricity, solar does have the potential to lower your demand charges. How do I know which are my demand charges? Because I looked at my utility bill in my business and it doesn't say demand. No. So if you're considering going solar and you want to know which charges solar is going to impact on your bill, mm -hmm. any charge on your utility bill that has a KWH, kilowatt hour, will be eliminated by the getting solar. Anything that just says KW or any other charges will remain on your bill. Yeah, but it could be impacted as we said earlier. It Absolutely. could be lowered. It uh, really depends if your use is simultaneous with the, uh, the production of your solar power. Yep. So generally speaking, there's three ways to impact your demand charges. One is talk to your utility about their programs. Two is to look at se sequencing your equipment and three, potentially going solar.